What's up guys, Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. I am super, super happy today. I wanna to share with you guys my first impressions for Dead or Alive 6. Now Dead or Alive 6, it's coming out the beginning of next month, March 2019. Uh, and I've been spending some time with the full version of the game. I got an early copy of the game on the PS4. I wanna share with you guys my thoughts. If you guys are a fan, of the Dead or Alive games, I want to share with you guys my thoughts on Dead or Alive 6. Now, quick, quick backstory, quick recap. About 20 years ago, when I first got my PlayStation 1, my library was like pretty much non existent. My PS1 did come with a demo disc of PS1 demos, and one of the demos on it was for the first Dead or Alive game. And I remember actually playing it, and it was, of course, it was the demo and it was super limited, but I really, really enjoyed it. You know, of course, I grew up with uh, Street Fighter and a lot of the SNK fighting games. And so it was definitely a different uh, fighting game, you know, and of course, you know, Tekken was also on the PlayStation 1, but I really enjoyed the first Dead or Alive game. And of course, I played the Dead or Alive games uh, on the original Xbox, the Xbox 360, and then eventually on the PlayStation 4 with Dead or Alive uh, 5, and really enjoyed that one. So here we are, you know, it's been an over 20 years journey in history with me and the Dead or Alive series. And my first impressions, let me just tell you guys first and foremost, so far, this is these are not my final impressions. I, so far, have been having a blast with this game. I have been truly, truly enjoying it. Out of the gate, out of the box, um, you, know, you have 24 characters to choose from that I was able to play with. I'm not sure on a release day when, when the patch gets released, what's gonna change. There's a lot of different modes. Of course, you have versus mode where you could play with your friend. You could also go online with the game. There is an arcade mode. There is a survival mode. There's also a quest mode in Dead or Alive 6 where you can, um, there's certain things you have to do. Say for instance, you have to um, do two throws in, in this particular quest. And if you're successful in, reaching all of the things that are required of you, um, you can earn unlockables. And there's a lot of different unlockables or things that you can unlock in the game if you're if you're into that type of thing. Tons and tons of quests. And then what we have in Dead or Alive 6 is a story mode. Now, as mentioned, I said on how there's, you know, like you get to the screen, like who should I choose? Oh, there's 24 characters to choose from. This story mode branches out like crazy. The story mode, I, I'm not sure percentage, I'm, I'm kind of early on, I've played with a bunch of the different characters and, and their um, beginnings for their stories, but you as you play through the story, other character stories unlocks and, and other chapters unlocks. And I don't know how many hours it's gonna take, which is a good thing because I've so far, it's, it's really, it's, it is definitely, cheesy and corny at times. And for any of you guys have played any of this um, Dead or Alive games, some of like, you know, the voice acting, uh, but it's actually a lot of fun. And as mentioned, there is a lot to it for the story mode. Again, this is first impressions. I don't know how many hours it's gonna take to, to see everything and to do everything. But with that being said, let me get to the core of this game with all the different modes, obviously, to choose from. What it comes down to, this is a beautiful looking game. The visuals are really stunning. And what's so fantastic is the gameplay and the frame rates have been so fluid and so enjoyable. And I've played some of the characters that I've played in the past Dead or Alive games and it felt right at home. But of course there are new characters that I've had a chance to play with. And that's been a real joy as well. That has been a serious blast as well. I honestly, guys, this is really a great time to be alive. You know, not too long ago, we had the release of Tekken 7, which was awesome. And then after Tekken 7, of course, we had Soul Calibur 6, which was which is a great game as well. And then now we have Dead or Alive 6. And I'm just thinking, man, what would be so perfect for me is if Sega were to announce or to release in the near future a Virtual Fighter 6. But again, what a time to be alive because I love Tekken, I love Soul Calibur, I love Virtual Fighter, and I love the Dead or Alive games. 
And again, as mentioned in the beginning, I've been having a blast with this game. I love these types of fighting games. Again, I grew up with the uh, Street Fighter games, but this one is quite amazing. Kind of touch upon what I just briefly mentioned. The, the gameplay is very fluid. The frame rates are, because these levels and these areas and the action that's taking place, it is fast and super fierce and super intense and so much going on at times. Um, it's on different, depending on the areas you're at, levels you're at, there are different playing levels. If you knock a character off or if you get knocked off like an edge, there'll be a lower level or a lower platform for you to battle on, which have, has kind of been a staple with uh, some of the other Dead or Alive games or the most recent Dead or Alive games. And things are going so fast and to have the game running and playing so smoothly, on the PS4 just really enhances the enjoyment in the game. And man, so much fun. The game plays beautifully, looks beautifully. Uh, the music at first for some of the levels, I'm like, oh man, what's the deal with some of these musical tracks? But these, they've been starting to actually kind of grow on me. The music is very upbeat, very engaging, and it kind of tries to match to the different levels that you're playing on or matching the themes or the theme of the different level you're playing on. And with the different levels that you're playing on, depending on what you, you play on, there definitely are, now not to give away any spoilers, but there are definitely some surprises and definitely some unexpected moments for sure, which is actually, um, and whether this takes place during the match or after the end of a round, I'm just gonna leave it at that, but super fun, super enjoyable. If you guys have, enjoyed any of the games of the series uh definitely have this on your radar again this is not a final final impressions this is not a full review this is just my first impressions of being able to spend some hours with the game it's coming out again guys at the beginning it's one of the major first releases first releases uh for march so be on the lookout uh for dead or alive 6 i've been having a blast I'm definitely be playing more of this game for sure, believe it. But let me know your thoughts on this game and your what you're hoping if you guys are gonna be picking up this title. As always guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you later.